almost everyone want to feed more data and knowledge to large language model and ideally unlimited amount of data. You probably experience a situation that the more data you feed the large language model, the slower it performs. And eventually it will go out of memory and give you error. And this problem is very hard to solve because of two reasons. One is simply we can't feed unlimited data into GPU because it doesn't have unlimited memory due to the way transformer works, which is common large language model architecture. Every new token added will increase complexity quadratically. So we simply just can't fit all the data into GPU memory. But on the other hand, even though it can fit everything, regardless of cost, it will take a very long time to compute, which can dramatically impact the user experience. And because of those trade-offs, it has been hard to feed very large amount of data to large language model. And so far, one common solution is something we call window attention. And what this means is basically when we have a very large amount of data, instead of feeding everything into large language model, we just take the latest X amount token. So it can still generate relevant content with proper performance. But the problem is also obvious. It will simply lose context about those tokens that we have been removed, which means it's very hard for it to remember what has been talked about before. But there's a new research project that explored an interesting approach to significantly increase amount of data that the large language model can take as input and also generate text at high efficiency. And here is a one comparison. As you can see on the left, the model performance breaks very quickly as the context becomes bigger and eventually out of memory. But on the right side with streaming LLM, it can continuously generating text without breaking the memory. And this is due to one phenomenon that they identify, they call attention sync. And what that means is even though we feed 4,000 tokens to a large language model, it actually pays a lot more attention and weights to the initial token compared with the token in the end. So there's a degradation of performance to the tax in the end. And that means even though we give it a huge amount of data, what really matters are the initial part of the context. And in terms of content in the middle, it actually didn't contribute too much or has much less weight. And the team basically utilized this finding to extend the effective context window. So instead of previous attempts, which is either feed everything or cut off the initial part and just keep the last part, Streaming LLM introduced a new approach, which is a combination of the first few tokens that has attention sync, plus the rolling cache, which is the latest X amount of token. So together, the large language model can have context about what has been talked about before, as well as the recent conversation. And here's a more detailed illustration about the way it works. So as the amount of data expands, the token in the middle will be excluded from the memory, and it will only consider the initial part, the attention sync, as well as the rolling cache, which is the content in the end. And what they found, which I found quite surprising, is that you can give large language model more context, even with as less as just four tokens with attention sync. And this is how they achieve to feed the large language model infinite amount of inputs. And if you want, you can actually go to their GitHub, read a paper or try it out yourself. But the bigger question here is what does this actually unlock? Does that mean now we can just feed unlimited amount of data to large language model? Well, the answer is Kind of. It does work for a limited amount of scenario. For example, if your use case is long form content generation, like writing a whole book with more than 1 million words or a series of blocks, as well as movie transcripts. So all the scenarios that require large language model to generate a large amount of content can actually work well because it would almost never meet the context limit. Or if you're building a chatbot that you wanted to remember what has been talked about three months ago, five months ago, it can still have context by adopting this mechanism. However, that doesn't mean that now you can feed 10, 20 research papers to large language model and ask it to summarize because it still lost all the detailed context in the middle. But I think what's exciting is this is just one first implementation of utilizing attention sync. There are probably more creative concepts to solve this context limit problem. So please comment below about any new ideas you have. I hope you enjoyed this. I will continue sharing interesting AI projects that I explored. So please consider giving me a subscribe and I'll see you next time.